and dirt cheap. And this is Crash Course USA Government. Today, we're going to talk about the 19th Amendment. So, it's tempting to limit ourselves to the discussion of women getting the right to vote with the passage of the 19th Amendment. But if we focus too much on the constitutional history, we're going to miss a lot. Some historians refer to the 30 years between 1890 and 1920 as the woman's era, because it was in that time that women started to have greater economic and political opportunities, like the right to own property, control their wages, and make contracts and wills. By 1900, 5 million women worked for wages. Women in America were always vital contributors to the economy as producers and consumers, and they always worked whether for wages or taking care of children in their homes. And as someone who has known someone who just got off paternal leave, I can tell you, that ain't no joke. Oh, it's time for the mystery document. Please let it be Virginia Woolf, please let it be Virginia Woolf. Basically, I try to guess the author of this document, and if I don't get it right, I get shocked. Let's see what we have here today. The spirit of personal independence in the women of today is sure proof that a change has come. The radical change in the economic position of women is advancing upon us. The growing individualization of democratic life brings inevitable changes to our daughters as well as to our sons. One of its most noticeable features is the demand in women not only for their own money, but for their own work for the sake of personal expression. Few girls today fail to manifest some signs of the desire for individual expression. Virginia Woolf, Stan. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know the answer to this one. I'm just going to guess Woodrow Wilson. Charlotte Perkins Gilman in the book Women in Economics. Dang it! Ah! So, women's long fight to gain the right to vote ended with the ratification of the 19th Amendment in 1920. Women had to fight for their right to vote. And like anything else, this came up with a whole bunch of new ideas, which led to the Roaring Twenties, which we'll talk about next week. Thanks for watching.